Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today I wanted to create a type of video that I personally really enjoy watching and that's one where the person is being a really out there bizarre character with a weird personality, particularly a bitchy one. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Logically that doesn't seem like something that should be relaxing. Um, but for me, for some reason it is. Um, so if that is not your thing at all, no worries. There's a million other ASMR videos out there of people being very nurturing and nice. Um, but if you're like me and like watching somebody be a bitch, then I hope you'll like this video and find it funny. And I definitely do not mean anything I'm gonna say at all. It's completely a character purely for entertainment purposes, so I hope that nothing is, like, offensive or anything. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> hey girl, come on in, come here. Thank you so much for coming over. Yeah. Like, honestly, originally, I wasn't gonna go to the party tonight, but since you're going, I think it'll be so much fun. Yeah. And I thought it would be cool if we could, like, get ready together. What do you think? Okay, awesome. So, what you're wearing is, like, totally cute and everything, uh, but I picked something out for you that I think is gonna be like even cuter. Yeah. It's one of my dresses and we're like pretty much the same size, right? Yeah. Do you wanna see it? Okay. So it's my favorite sequin dress. Isn't it cute? Every time I wear this dress, I literally get so many compliments. Not even kidding. And honestly, like, you know what I really like about this dress? It's how the sequins reflect the light so much, especially, like, on the dance floor, that, like, it distracts people from how bad my dancing is. You know what I mean? Like, when people are, like, being blinded by the light of the sequins, um, of course they're not going to be able to see my frantically flailing limbs, you know? science. And like, when I say that it's blinding, I don't mean that like metaphorically or simulaically or hyperbolically. Um, I mean it literally. Like, these sequins have actually been proven to cause like severe retinal damage. Yeah, it's pretty tragic. But beauty is pain, am I right? <laughs> yeah. And like, honestly, my dancing isn't, like, bad, per se. Like, I can move my body in a compelling way. It usually compels people to leave the room. But, like, I've gotten so many compliments. Like, I can't even count. Like, I literally, I, I can't count. But I also can't count how many guys have told me that when I dance, it looks like I'm drowning in midair. Yeah. What are you talking about? That's totally a compliment. Are you joking? I mean, like, honestly, that compliment can be interpreted in a so many different ways, all of which are positive. Honestly. Just keeping it real, Karen. Just keeping it real. Like, don't you think drowning is, like, kind of hot? You, Karen. Nobody fucking asked you, bitch. So anyways, what do you think of the dress? Do you want to wear it? Isn't it cute? It looks so good on you. Right? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to wear it? You do. Okay, cool. Also, how are you in heels? Are you cool with heels? Are you good in heels? Are you, like, one of those girls who, like, walks in heels like a drunk baby giraffe? Or, like, what? What's your deal? You're good with heels. Okay, cool. Good, because I have a really cute pair of heels to go with that dress. 
and you're a size seven and a half, right? Oh, you're an eight? Ew. Uh, so here they are. Um, they're super duper cute. Mm -hmm. um, they're black and glittery, just like the dress. So I'll go perfectly with it. Yeah. Um, you do have to be careful though because the heels are about a foot long. Mm hmm So when you walk, um, you do have to be uh, very careful to watch your step. Mm hmm Uh, because if you do uh, misplace your weight and take a little tumble, there is an extremely highly probable, almost certain statistical likelihood that you will break both of your legs. Severely. Possibly. Irreparably. Yeah, but like, honestly, even if you do break your legs, like, what's the big deal? Am I right? Because like, what if when the ambulance comes, two super, super duper hot paramedics come out to help you? And like, if there's gonna be like a super hot paramedic helping you onto the stretcher with your broken legs, um, what are you gonna want to be wearing? My glittery black stilettos that are gonna make you look like an Amazonian supermodel goddess? Or plain Jane flats that make you look like a goddamn algebra tutor? The choice is yours, Carrie. The choice is yours. Well, yeah, obviously, if you would the flats you wouldn't have broken your legs but like you also wouldn't have met the hot paramedic and most likely your future husband and you have me to thank for that but i mean like i guess if you want i can put a pair of flats in my purse so if halfway through the party you decide to be a quitter you can come find me and put on a pair of flats Yes, that can be arranged. So anyways, um, I think I need to fix my hair. Yeah, like honestly, it's fallen a little flat. And like, I wouldn't be caught dead at a party with limp, flat, soggy, ramen noodle hair. Are you kidding me? No way. Like, honestly, I wouldn't, I literally would not be caught dead with a limp hair. Like, honestly, like, when I'm on my deathbed and I sense that, like, it's time to choke, um, do you think my wrinkly, but, mind you, acrylic nailed hand is going to be reaching for the phone to call 911? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm going to be reaching into my makeup bag to touch up this mug and grab my hairbrush and fluff this hair. I am not going into the afterlife without my looks finessed. Yeah. Honestly, like, like, I don't know if it's true, but like, what if when your physical form departs from this mortal plane, the physical state of your body at that time becomes forever immortalized in your ghost physical form? Do you think I want to be stuck in all of eternity in a ghost physical form that looks like an algebra tutor? No, Karen. No, I don't. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now that I'm looking amazing, what do you want to do about your hair um, situation? No offense. No. Girl, you always take everything the wrong way. I'm just trying to help. Yeah. Here, let me tease it for you. Come here. Come here. Okay. I'm just gonna tease it up. And honestly, the fact that I'm doing this for you right now just goes to show what an incredibly caring, loving, giving, compassionate, altruistic, charitable, and humble person I am. 
because obviously if I let you go out looking like you did before I would have really benefited by showing up to the party next to you because I would have looked way hotter in comparison let's just be real Karen that's just how it is but the fact that I'm helping you look so amazing and more like me just goes to show that I'm not about the servicey, shallow, vain side of things. No. I'm about giving. Like, for example, one of my favorite charitable acts I love to partake in is talking to the mailman. Yes, I'm serious. I talk to him. I'm serious. Sometimes I'll say hi, a little smile on my face. But some days, when my heart is especially just bursting with love and generosity, I'll even say thank you. I will. I do, I do say that sometimes. And if that doesn't tell you what kind of a loving, generous person I am, I don't know what will. Because I'm an 11, and he's a 0. And 11's don't associate. Except for me. Because I'm basically Mother Teresa, but hot. So, yeah, your hair is starting to look way less bad. Yeah, totally. It's not quite on my level, but I think that this is the best we can hope for. This, yeah. It's good. It's, it's really good. Yeah, that color looks great on you. Totally, yeah. So, like, your eyelashes are kind of looking like a daddy long leg-ish to me, personally. Um, and we want to take them more to, like, tarantula. You know what I mean? So, like, what do you think of, like, these? Like, I mean, like, they're so heavy, you probably won't be able to open your eyes. But it'll just give you that kind of, like, sexy... Can I look? It's like sultry, right? Totally. Like, you won't even need to flirt with anybody because if anybody sees you from across the room like that, they're basically yours. So, what do you think? Can I glue these on? No. Whatever. It's fine. Like I said, I don't have any issues being. Oh, uh, anyways, so, um, I feel like your hair still needs some more, like, volume, like, a little more length, it's okay. Um, so, I'm going to use the big sexy hair, big altitude. It's the Botifying Loose. So, basically, it's just, like, this super-duper frothy foam that goes into your roots, and it just gives it off. Yeah, I know it looks like a lot, but like, you need a lot of help. No offense. <laughs> uh, let me just work that through your hair. Just add some
var. Okay, our Uber is on its way. So, uh, let me just say, you're welcome for helping me get ready. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of in like a charitable mood today, what can I say? Yeah, it was so much fun. And the party's gonna be great. I can't wait. Yachts in Beverly Hills. It's kind of a big deal. So, oh, okay. Our Uber's gonna be here in two minutes, so let's go down. 